Hi Fire Energies and welcome to your Tarot Love Readings. So Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. Um, we're going to take a look at the one who's ghosted you. So the one who's, you know, dissipated, uh, who's disappeared and dissipated into thin smoke, like a Vegas magician here. Um, as always, these messages are going to be general, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So I'll go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and we'll see what's going on with this individual energy-wise. Um, why is it that he or she pulled away so abruptly? Um, and whether they have any intentions of perhaps coming back into your life or communicating with you. Or perhaps even apologizing. Okay, the Seven of Cups, the Hermit, the Three of Swords. Judgment, the Eight of Cups, and the Five of Swords. Okay, firstly, it's important to know that you are dealing with someone who is a little bit complicated, okay? Um, or is it that your situation was a little complicated? I feel like it was a complicated emotional state of affairs is what I'm getting. The Seven of Cups, um, strong... Uh, water energy Pisces Cancer Scorpio seven of cups this person was never really sure about you uh, that could also account for the reason why this person has disappeared here I feel like they weren't necessarily certain of their emotions here they weren't necessarily certain whether um, you know they're as interested in you or as they should be or I feel like this person one day this person was really there's like inconsistencies in their emotions or in their behaviors I don't know if it's because I'm picking up um, that they might have had ADD or multiple personality disorder. Um, I, I don't know if that's what's coming through for some of you. Or I don't know if it's a bipolar. I, 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 it could be. But for others of you, I feel like you were dealing with someone who's emotionally scattered. So this is someone who, they have a non-committal type of energy, okay? Um, but I feel like I'll go into that a little bit deeper because I'm seeing that there was someone else around this individual. I'm also seeing with the Five of Swords, I don't know that the two of you were a vibrational match or I don't know that the two of you would have worked had they not ghosted you. Um, but the Seven of Cups and emotionally scattered energy. So this person was never sure. If they were sure, they would still be talking to you. They wouldn't have pulled away from you. I feel like there was something here. Either they, they're someone who is very impressionable and therefore their opinions here of you and of what this connection could be is easily influenced. Or this person was just never really sure of where this is going or what this could be, um, you know, of what, what they feel for you. I'm seeing, yeah, a very emotionally scattered energy with the Seven of Cups. I'm also seeing that this person um, has a fear. I'm going to say um, it's a, uh, I'm saying it's a, I'm going to say it's a fear of emotional intimacy here. They may also have had options around them. And to you, I know this is a little bit uh, bluntly put, but to you, I feel like you are just another option. You know, you weren't necessarily a priority. You were one of the many options or choices that this person has around you. For some of you, I feel like you've connected with this person online via, I feel like it's a dating platform, um, dating app here. And maybe, you know, the two of you swiped right on each other. So the two of you, you know, they had, and maybe that's the options that I'm seeing. They had those options to choose from. But I'm also seeing that there was someone else around this individual here. So yeah, I feel like this person was, they had options. Um, I'm also seeing that there was unrealistic expectations surrounding this connection. So maybe this person didn't think, maybe you turned out to be not who they thought you were going to be. Um, or maybe this person turned out to be someone completely different than who you thought they were going to be. I, I'm seeing illusions here, wishful thinking, illusions and fantasies here. Okay, this person's, their energy, I can sense that their energy is, how do, how do I say this? Their energy feels like they're being guided by their um, illusions that they feed themselves, yes. The energy feels like, yeah, this person feels a little bit, maybe he or she is a little bit deluded. I'm seeing um, a deluded sense of style or maybe this person is... It's a lot of wishful thinking, a lot of daydreaming, a lot of unrealistic expectations. And, you know, this person has he, his or her head so high up in the clouds that 
he or she then allows for their imagination or their illusions and fantasies to dictate their actions here. They also have a hard time making a choice. So this person, I feel like, has a hard time committing to something. So again, don't take it personal. Just because you're personally well with this individual, I don't feel like this is a reflection of you. Um, simply put, guys, it's them, it's not you. Uh, I feel like this person has a lot of... Um, a lot to work through still. Mm. There was someone else he around this person as well. So whilst they were talking to you, they were also communicating with someone else. Talking to you also glisten with promises. But if you look at the Seven of Cups, some of these chalices bear desirable gifts, some not so. And they all, whilst, you know, from far away, they all seem to be glistening with promises. They all seem, you know, to be very enticing. But, you know, uh, uh, upon a further uh, inspection, if you look up closely, they're not all so, uh, such great gifts. They're not all desirable here. Some of them are illusions, and I feel like, I don't know if this is this person's illusions that are coming through, or I don't know if you've had illusions about this individual. Um, they seem to be, they seem to keep to themselves a lot with the hermit's energy. This is someone who's very close to offer. This is someone who I don't feel like uh, they weren't necessarily ready for a relationship, or they weren't necessarily ready for any, um, for anything serious here. Okay. I don't feel, I'm getting a sense of lust or infatuation here, is what I'm seeing. I did, I did mention that I'm seeing that this person was either communicating with someone else or this person goes to you in favor of someone else. That's what I'm seeing here. The Three of Swords could also depict that, I feel like this person, it could be your energy, right? It could be your energy, you know, there's a lot of, I feel like some of you have shared a lot of tears over this. Some of you, like, not only did this person ghost, ghosted you, but I feel like this, their disappearing act made you really question your self-worth, made you really question whether it was might have, it might have been something you said or did. It isn't. Nothing you said or did made them pull away here. It's them, it's not you. Um, but I, I am seeing that, yeah, some of you, I feel like, had a really hard time. Maybe you've been here before with someone else. Maybe you feel as though, you know, um, you were really onto something or you had something good and all of a sudden the rug was pulled from underneath your feet. I feel like some of you were really emotionally disappointed or let down. Some of you felt betrayed. Some of you, I feel like, were aware of the fact that this person might have been lying to you or there was some sort of deception and you were aware that there was a third party involvement here. Some of you, I feel like you were aware of it. You found that out or you are finding this out soon. Or you will be finding this out. Um... Some of you, I feel like you've had red flags, whether it was a gut feeling or whether some red flags popped up in earlier on in the connection, but you ignore this. You ignore this because you glossed over them because you wanted to believe in, you know, you wanted to enter this into this connection uh, in good faith. But some of you had a feeling of, oh, something's wrong here, something's not right here. Next time, trust your instincts, trust your intuition here. Um, okay, Three of Swords also tells me that this person, I don't feel like they're over... Either this person is still hung up on an ex and maybe this is whom they're still communicating with because they hope to perhaps reconcile with this ex or I feel like maybe this person is, maybe they're over the ex but they're not over the, the, the hurt or the pain or the abandonment. I'm getting that this person has abandonment issues which explains why they sort of just ghosted and abruptly pulled away because um, they've had this done to them. They've had this done to them. And it's not okay, it's, it's not justifiable for them to go on, you know, and, and do it to other people. But I feel like it's been done to them on more than one occasion. It might have even stemmed uh, from childhood earlier on, like one of their parents walked out on them. Or they've had uh, parents who've separated here. I just feel like this, this person experienced abandonment earlier on and they feel like it's normal. You know, they've had it done to them on multiple occasions and they feel like it's the norm. So for them, that's how they justify it. That's how they justify their actions here. Um, yeah, I do feel like this person has abandonment issues. I'm seeing betrayal, hurt, rejection around your, your and this person's energy here. I'm also seeing that some of you need closure. So I don't feel like it's you don't necessarily want, it's not like you really want or you're very hung up on this person coming back into your life and, com and the two of you communicating and the two of you, you know, starting something up. Some of you, yeah, that's what you want, okay? But others of you, I'm seeing that um, 
you're actually after closure more than anything. Some of you just want to be able to know why they did what they did. Um, or, you know, what made them pull away here. Or um, why couldn't they just turn around and tell you, hey, this isn't working. Or I don't see the two of us, you know, um, becoming a thing. Or, you know, whatever. You just, you wonder why this person has offered no, like you... This person pulled away so abruptly that it's left so many questions unanswered for you here. And what you want, I feel like, is answers more than anything else. Or you want closure. You want to be able to, you know, there was a beginning, there was a middle, but there wasn't an end. And I feel like that's what a lot of you want. You want an ending. Now, some of you, I did say there's a strong sense of you should have trusted your instincts in this reading. I'm getting like a strong sense of something. A lot of you felt like something was off about this person. A lot of you felt like something was wrong or something didn't quite add up. I'm seeing that the two of you, I don't feel like you were a vibrational match. The Five of Swords tells me that the two of you, like when that comes up in a reading, a lot of the time it tells us that you're dating the wrong person, okay? So I don't feel like your energies were vibrating to the same emotional frequencies. But I also don't feel like you wanted the same things or you were able, I don't feel like this person, like I've mentioned at the start of the reading and I hope I didn't scare anyone off when I said this, but I feel like I can only interpret the messages. At the start of the reading, I did feel I did mention that this person, even if the two of you stayed together, I don't think it would have worked, guys. Because I'm seeing that there's a lot of emotional trauma that needs to be healed around this person's energy. There's a lot of healing that needs to take place. I'm also seeing with this person, there's a lot of growing that this person needs to do, a lot of growing up or a lot of growing and evolving that they need to do. Um, yes, the two, the two of you could have done together, but to be honest with you, from what I'm seeing here, it's a journey that they have to undertake on their own. Um, judgment, I feel like, yeah, that's that's all you wanted. For a lot of you, you just want answers. You want answers here. Because a lot of you, I feel like you've been trying to draw on your own closure. You've been trying to understand why he or she left you while they pulled away. Um, you know, what happened here, why it didn't work. A lot of you, I feel like, are just wanting answers here. Some of you, I feel like you're still recovering from being ghosted. Some of you... You've been here before is what I'm sensing. You've been here before. This isn't something new. And it doesn't feel nice because it feels like hurt, betrayal, rejection, right? Um, so yeah, with the Eight of Cups, this person walked away. They turned their back on you. Something was missing in the connection, okay? Something, notice how there's a, a gap here where there should have been a fourth cup. Um, so something didn't quite add up here. And I don't feel like you were in the same vibrational match. And I don't feel like he or she would have met your needs and your expectations. I don't feel like this person, try as they might, they couldn't give you what you need. They couldn't give you what you wanted. It might have seemed that way. It might have seemed like this is someone who's come along and who could fulfill your, your needs and your wants and your innermost desires. Um, in hindsight, you know, you felt like it could have worked because the illusion, a lot of the times, but be careful because I'm seeing a lot of red flags. A lot of red flags and I feel like those red flags did pop up but some of you had a tendency to gloss over them or ignore them I'm seeing that the potential and this is important the potential of this connection or the potential of what the two of you could have been was far more enticing and far more promising and alluring than the reality of it a lot of the times people fall in love with the idea of who someone or what something could be rather than the actual reality of it. And I feel like this is a case of what's going on here. So this person has turned their back and walked away from you purely because something, you know, um, something didn't quite balance out between the two of you. And I feel like you were two very different people. And I don't feel like this person could have given you what they... Uh, what you wanted here maybe another time another um, another time another place but I feel like this person needs to work on themselves a lot I'm also seeing with the eight of cups as a message for you here so if you take away anything from this reading it's that you need to some of you need to you're looking for closure for those of you that are seeking closure it, again I, I'm repeating myself here but it's not them it's you uh, it's not you sorry no it's not you it's them okay some of you I feel like need to draw on your own closure and you need to turn your back and walk away you need to make peace with the conflict make peace with the situation turn you know the moon that hangs in the sky he talks to us you know it illustrates the importance of closure here even if it means you have to draw on your own closure turn your back and walk away for what's in search of the other on the other side of the mountain because what's on this side of the mountain which is where they were at it wasn't fulfilling it wasn't emotionally gratifying satisfying or fulfilling this person couldn't give you what you want what you needed 
Okay, guys, that's all I have for you. Um, thank you, as always, guys, for watching and listening. Please do show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting, sharing. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Thanks, guys, again. Bye for now.